Greetings world. We are anonymous. Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. A former young Canadian staffer is facing a 10-year prison term for sexually abusing six teenage boys. He pleaded guilty in January to eight charges, including sexual assault, sexual exploitation, making child pornography and luring. The case involves six victims all former members of the Calgary Stampede's performance group, the Young Canadians. The teenage boys were between the ages of 15 and 17 when the abuse happened. The earliest offense happened in 1992, which was one count of sexual assault. The staffer admitted that he was in a position of authority and also admitted he abused his position of trust and authority. In several cases, he requested naked photos of the young students, while in other cases, he requested the teens masturbate in front of him. In one case, he then masturbated in front of the victim and called it a masturbating contest. He would perform what he called checkups under the guise of discussing the teens' workout programs. He would make the boys strip naked and touched their genitals. In one case, the boy received payment for the checkup, and he also admitted to discussing one teen's body insecurities with him, offering to rate his buttocks if the teen would send him a naked picture. Calgary Stampede officials said changes have been made to the performing arts studios, including state-of-the-art security features, such as video surveillance, electronically controlled access points and see-through glass doors on all rooms and offices, and if there is any one-on-ones, those one-on-ones have to occur in an area that can be viewed by others, as well. This is not going to make anything any better, as said before, video surveillance at the Calgary Stampede has been abused. The ones in charge follow around the wrong people on camera, and electronically controlled access points don't necessarily do anything to change this, because whoever has the access cards to open these access points are mainly supervisors, the same people that are in the wrong in the first place. See-through glass doors should have been installed in the first place, but are pointless for this situation because stuff can still happen when others are walking by, or when others are gone home, and it is too late to have others present in meetings as well, because also mentioned before, all the supervisors do is yell and swear at you when they have you alone. But in this pedophile case, it is far too late to do this since the damage has already been done. The supervisor in this case admitted he abused his position of trust and authority, this goes to show that as discussed before in a prior video, that everything said in that video is the truth. It is good to see the justice system did not fail this time because 10 years is fair for this case although he should have gotten more but at least it is not a slap on the wrist this time. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.